Everton seems right with the world. And it feels like, you know, four wins climbing up the table. Can't ask for an awful lot more, MK, don't at the moment. No, and the, the last game with a clean sheet as well, it's the icing on the cake, really. I feel it's something we deserved, you know. Um, I think the way we've been playing, it's we've finally been rewarded with it. So, um, we just got to keep going now. It has been a frustrating way for that clean sheet for you, hasn't it? And it doesn't feel like an awful lot of the goals have been of your making or, you know, of your fault, really. <laughs> no, that's just the way it goes. Um, like I said, it's the icing on the cake. It's something we've... Like the whole back four, the whole team have been looking for him myself and it is uh, something now we can build on and through the week we've been training on marking the box, defending, uh, stopping shots and I think that showed on on Saturday. When you look at that back six, I think it was an average age of about 22 on um, on Saturday, it's, it's not often you say that about a, about a team and in their defence because you know you expect a few experienced heads and obviously you've had the likes of Dean Lewington and, and Richard Keogh in front of you at uh, points this season but you know I suppose if you're, if you're good enough you're old enough Yeah exactly I thought Zach uh, stepped into Dean's role really well as well considering uh, it's a big boost to fill uh, you know we've been playing 800 games for the club and I feel that um, he built into the game very well I mean like you say if you're old enough you if you're Good enough, for you. you're old enough, so uh, that's a, that's the way it is, yeah. Not many saves for you to have to make, either, <laughs> recently, which is, um, I don't know how you, how you take that as a goalkeeper, particularly as you, you see, still see a lot of ball with your feet. I mean, you're not involved as much with your hands. <laughs> no, um, like I say, I like making saves, but um, that's where we want to That's where we want to have it here, and uh, it shows that we're doing something right with the, with the defending and marketing the box, and... That's why we worked all week on defending and picking up and stopping them getting chances and like I said that showed and it's rewarded with no shots. Does it mean something to you guys to, to be in the top half of the table this season or is it just, just a number and, and you guys don't really pay a lot of attention? Yeah, no, we don't really look at it like that. We've we're just taking it game by game and just seeing where it goes from there. There's teams around us on similar points with games around us, so we'll just take it as it goes. So you're not going to be talking about playoffs anytime, guys. <laughs> not just pinning that on you. I have asked everybody so far. <laughs> no, look, we'll just take it game by game and see what see what happens from there. It's a busy period. The the Easter one, it's um, it's back to games in quick succession. But it's a period that, that can change an awful lot in um, in the league table, can't it? Yeah, it is. I mean, a lot of games coming thick and fast now. So, you know, injuries happen and. Uh, farm changes, so you know we've we've got a chance late, but we'll just keep going game by game. Lincoln, a team that uh, started the season really well, they're having a little bit of a rough patch at the minute, but it must be uh, must be a good place to go and play, uh, well, good time to go and play. Yeah, no, it is. I mean, we back ourselves at any team. I mean, you look at Hull and we, you know, we dominated the game pretty much, and we back ourselves. Anyone in the league here, and um, we always go with the mindset to win now one of your um, goalkeeping mates Laurie Walker he's obviously gone off on loan and is, uh, he's playing regularly with Oldham it must be, it must be great to see that a guy like Laurie has um, you know, not seen an awful lot of first team football he's now, he's now out there doing it yeah no he deserves it as well he's waited long enough for his chance and he's playing really well so I am like you say I'm really happy for him and um, you know hopefully he gets a lot more game time there and he comes back a I think not much experience, more better keeper, better keeper. How different is it being being able to play first team football regularly? I mean, this is probably a daft question, but you know, from from training every week as he does, and, and helping you guys warm up to being chucked in into league football, it's a, it's a huge change, isn't it? Yeah, no, and for me, it's my first season. And I found it tough with the games, you know, looking after your body and the way we played, moving, like my legs kicking. Like I'm not used to the games. It's used to twenty threes football, like playing once every two weeks. So, like I say, it's I've adapted. I thought I've adapted well to it, and it is different. And um, you know, same with Laurie. I think he'll be finding it now, especially at Holden, going a lot longer with his kicking. I think his legs will be young enough. 